Hi, welcome to this new presentation that deals with the characterization of calorimetric analysis. First of all, we're going to have a look uh, at some fundamentals. Let's see which is our contents outline. First of all, we will define what is the differential scanning calorimetry and then we will see the possibilities that we have in order to define a good application range and finally we will see the different gases that can be applied in order to perform different analysis. Concerning the previous knowledge that you have to have, you have to know some different concepts, general concepts about physics and chemistry as well as some different experimentation skills. Let's start then with the definition of differential scanning calorimetry. According to the International Conference of Thermal Analysis and Calorimetry, the differential scanning calorimetry is a technique in which the difference in energy or temperature between a sample and a reference is monitored as a temperature function when both sample and reference are submitted to the same temperature program. When we are thinking about our experiments, we have to take into account two different features. First of all, we have to know which are the DSC technical specifications. Basically, we have to know which is the temperature range feasible for our DSC and then which is the sensibility of our measurement. In another part, uh, we have to know if the energetic transitions of our material are available in our DSC temperature range. And then it's very important to know if the represent representativity of our sample uh, relating, related to the whole material is representative enough. Regarding the analysis atmospheres, we can perform some different experiments according to the gas that we are using. If we use an inert atmosphere with argon or nitrogen, for instance, we will be able to assess the thermal transitions of the materials only as an effect of the temperature. But if we want the evaluation of the thermal transitions in real conditions, that means in some oxidative atmosphere, we can use some air or oxygen in order to apply different experiments such as the oxidation induction time or the oxidation temperature. Which are the key points that have been followed through this presentation? We have seen which is the defeat definition of the differential scanning calorimetry, then we will see which, which is the compromise between the material and the DSC technical specifications and finally we have seen the different analysis that can be performed depending on the different atmospheres that can be applied. Now you are capable of attending the different DSC characterizations models. Thank you.